I'm Arlene Phillips and I'm a choreographer and sometime TV presenter. I was teaching um, what I call rock jazz in Floral Street at the Dance Centre and it was the go-to class for everyone that wanted to dance, was a dancing celebrity, was a professional dancer. And one day I got a call from um, the producers of Oak Calcutta, which was at the Roundhouse, saying they're looking for a replacement dancer for Margot Sappington, the choreographer of Oak Calcutta, as she's going back to America and the show, which closes at the Roundhouse, was going to be opening in the West End. And they had heard that I had all the hot dancers and could they come and visit my class? They came to visit my class, Margot Sappington and the producers, and looked at all the dances in my professional class. I was demonstrating, and at the end, they said, we're not really interested in anyone in the class. I said, oh, I'm really sorry. They said, we're interested in you. And I went, me, but I'm not a performer, I'm a teacher. And they said, no, you absolutely move the way Margot wants someone to move. You have every, um, every attribute we're looking for. Would you consider being in the show? I was like, I couldn't get my head around it. And then they said, and you have to dance naked. I came to see the show and truly it was the most beautiful pas de deux. And just the kind of dance I wanted to do and I wasn't really bothered it was naked. Then they asked me to appear here at the Roundhouse, learn the party de deux, so that before Margot went back to America, she could see the dance performed by the dancer she wanted it performed by. So I got the opportunity to appear in the show and it was incredible, absolutely incredible. And the show, was the last show in the Roundhouse before it was going to be completely, hopefully refurbished, but at the time they didn't know what was going to happen to it. The place was going to close. It was freezing. I can tell you in those dressing rooms that we all shared, there were no backstage facilities, no water. There was, there was nothing other than this stage which you can perform on. And, and it, was, it was a highlight, really, of my life. I think everything that was built in here was built in here because you could do it at a pretty low cost at the time. I mean, you know, we talk now about these spaces, you know, so-called off West End or whatever they may be. I mean, this was off, 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 off West End. And it had an exciting feeling about it. The audience were wild and quite avant-garde and dressed up in their wild clothes just to enter the building. They were part of something that was happening and they didn't care that most people felt disapproving. They felt that this was the place to be, the must, the must be seen place. Um, and everybody came to see the show. Everybody who was anybody from fashion designers to, to stars, to theater land, um, to the to the just the wild and the beautiful, the wealthy, the people who wanted to be seen in the right magazines. Happy birthday, Roundhouse. And I'm glad to be able to say that.